What's going on guys? I'm back with the second installment of the Top 100 Courses series in PGA Tour 2K21. Here today we have Little Cliff Mountain by Life on a Board. It's a par 72, medium difficulty, and just over 7,000 yards from the tips, which we're going to be playing today. So hopefully it doesn't disappoint. It looks like it's going to be pretty elevated, lots of uh, different changes in elevation, uh, some tight fairways, looks like some pretty protected greens, and uh, lots of shots that can just go out of, out of bounds really easily and quickly if you don't put a good swing on the ball. So, And here we are in the first tee. Absolutely stunning. I mean, I literally feel like I'm in the middle of the Rocky Mountains right now or something like that. Just a beautiful view. Got the bridge in front of us. That's another amazing detail right off the bat. Like, what a what a tee shot. I'm just going to let her rip with the driver because I just want to get to playing this. This looks like it's going to be a real treat. Love the color of the fairways here too. That's really cool. The contrast with the rough. Uh, some really creative bunker work there. And... Good first drive. We got about one, 138 to the pin, so kind of in between clubs for us. I think I'm going to hit a pitching wedge and hope that wind takes it up just to the front. Maybe we'll be a little below the hole. Put a great swing on that, so hopefully we can get up there. And we're going to be short. Not enough wind at all. So a tough start. Uh, is that ball going to sit? And that ball that did come back a little bit. I thought it was maybe going to even just keep on going, but okay, got to get up and down for par on the first hole. Kind of still a little awestruck by the uh, the scenery of this one, so got to bear down here and get up and down. Good little pitch shot there. Ran it a little by. Got to work on that, as, uh, as I've said in previous videos. But this is uh, the kind of putt that you want if you're going to try and make a par. Not a lot of break, just got to put a good stroke on it. And we're going to almost split the cup with that one. So we're in for par in the first hole. And look at that, even just that view there from the green. That's amazing. Like, lots of effort put into the views, especially from these tee shots. Like, this is crazy. Got a n nice par four here, 143, up the hill. Green just perched, this tiny little green just perched on the edge of a cliff. So you really can't miss left. If you miss right, you're going to go off this rock face and probably end up in the bunker at best. Um, at worst, you're going to end up somewhere way down there. So definitely going to be playing this safe. Luckily, the wind's pushing us to the right. It's coming off the left. So I think if we uh, dial in a 9-iron, we should be able to get up there. Hopefully, the wind will take it. And we put a great swing on that, so that should end up in a great spot for a birdie. And even came back over. What a shot. I mean, that's that's the kind of shot we were looking for on one with the approach shot. But got it here. Another pretty easy putt here. Going to roll that in, no problem. And there's a birdie on the second hole. So... One under through two, pretty darn good, but uh, really can't be missing any shots on this course. And look at this hole, holy shit. Like through the chute, just no room for error at all on some of these tee shots. Driver might be the play to this fairway, although... Yeah, 80 yard shot versus 120. You know what, I think I'm gonna actually play it safe and just hit a nice four or five iron, probably even a six iron here. Great. And go for the 130, 120 yard shot into the green rather than go for that smaller fairway. So pretty cool, look at the detail, just insane. Uh, I love the way that he split up those fairways. You really have to be careful with what you choose because uh, if you get a bad tee shot, you're almost certainly going out of bounds somewhere or in a terrible lie. So just amazing uh, creativity off the tee here in this hole. 
And this is going to get taken by the wind quite a bit. This is a testy little 9-iron shot. I'm going to try and hit this as close to perfect as possible. Just missed, but I think the wind's going to push that up there, and it should spin. Oh, perfect. I mean, that's the kind of execution that you need if you're going to be making some birdies and hitting onto these elevated greens. You really need to hit your spots because they're just going to fly right off. I mean, look at that sight line behind the pin. It looks like the green just kind of goes off the side of the cliff. So, Another fairly straightforward putt here. So far, I haven't had to hit too many tough putts. So definitely got to be taking advantage of these kinds of putts when you have them. And we're going to split the cup. That had a lot of pace on it. Good thing we uh, we did hit the cup there because I don't know if that would have uh, rolled right off or not. Probably, though. Been getting fortunate with the putts, and holy, I mean... Every tee shot is just incredible. This is a hole, man. Holy crap. Imagine this hole like in real life. I I wouldn't even know where to start. I'd be so afraid to hit this shot. Basically no room for air. And we rip a driver. Gonna just end up in the rough there. That rough looks pretty thick. Didn't get the kick that we needed into the fairway. Hopefully it's not too thick because it'd be a shame to have to lay this up. It is heavy rough, but it's telling us we should be able to get there with a 6 iron at 160, so that's not too bad. I'm going to take an extra, an extra club, I think. should be fine. There's a lot of wind. I don't know. If we end up a little bit short, like down here or whatever, not the worst, so... And wow, the wind didn't really, really help us much at all there. I did pull it to the right a little bit. That's not going to stay on. Going to have to try and get this up and down. Might consider putting this. Uh, yeah, this might not be a bad opportunity for a putt. It's pretty flat, so if we get the speed right, it doesn't look like it's going to just fly off if we go too far by. So... And we really put a bad roll on that. It actually stopped up, thankfully. And that was not getting it done right there. Probably should have chipped that. Those putts from the rough are pretty tricky in this game and in real life. Anyone who's ever played golf in real life knows that's a tough putt uh, to putt from that kind of fringe, rough kind of area. So got this for par. I'm going to have to dial this in here. And we missed that one, so that's a really bad putt. Just when I uh, when I say we have some we have some easy putts, we start messing it up a little bit. So gotta make this for bogey. Hopefully it doesn't break too much, and we're gonna take a double here, which is uh, really uh, really not what we're looking for. I mean the view helps a little bit, but we're back to even. Got those two strokes back just like that. Or the course got those two strokes back so what a tee shot here again uh, 603 yard par 5 with a big valley in the middle that's insane like this is a crazy course honestly I really hope that stays up pulled that one again and that is not good Not what we're looking for, making it a lot tougher on ourselves than it has to be, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I got a little side hill lie here, so hopefully this comes out okay. But I mean, like, the room for air at this course is so small on these shots. Like, look at this fairway. There's literally basically a hazard area right here, and then you're falling off the face of the earth on this side. I mean, <laughs> really not a lot of room to miss at all and that should be fine not sure where this will go. these fairways are not overly generous but I find a lot of them are so far sloping kind of inwards almost like a half pipe kind of thing so that is helping us out a little bit especially on a shot like that but once again just a narrow tricky green here with a nice big bunker protecting the front of it 
So definitely to avoid people trying to go for it in two, it's a really smart idea. I mean, where this pin is, going for this in two would be pretty close to impossible too. You pretty much have to go to the left side here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit a pitching wedge to the left side. I don't know if the wind's going to carry this. Yeah, I mean, really don't have much of a choice. Hopefully the wind does not put that into the bunker. And that just gets on. Oh my god, what a bounce. So bad bounce there. Gotta get this up and down for par. Can't be taking any more bogeys after that double. Luckily we can play a splash shot here though. Really comfortable shot for me. Probably could have even clubbed down on that, but that actually did roll back like an inch. So <laughs> nice easy par putt here. This is the kind of putt we need if we're going to make... Holy shit. Overread that, but that's the kind of putt we need for birdie or par if we want to stay under par here or at least hovering around even. So on to the par 3 sixth. We got 163 down the hill this time. And, uh, I mean, can't really say much about what hasn't already been said. I mean... Look at, just look at it. I mean, <laughs> it's insane. Uh, nine, nine mile per hour wind in our face. I'm going to cut this. And this is going to work out well, I think, if I hit this well. So you've dialed in a little fade hit on it. This shot. Okay. And we're going to go off the side of the cliff. Oh, wow. Well, Did we ever get lucky there? Okay. Let's yeah, dial it in. We're playing pretty sloppy right now, to be honest. We need to really pick it up. Let's go in, go in. Oh, that would have been <laughs> a miraculous birdie. But uh, the splash shot is literally my favorite shot in this entire game. We almost made it into a, made it get us a birdie there. So I'll take the par. Real, little unfortunate. We got to pick it up though. We're not making shots. I mean, look at this. Like you have to be able to hit shots on this course. If you're not striking the ball the way that you uh, that you want, you're gonna get in some trouble really fast. So, especially if you're trying to take like, more aggressive lines or whatever. I mean, so far a lot of these par fives are really hard to hit in two, especially if you hit the rough and stuff. And even this par four, now that I'm in the rough, might be tough to uh, to hit a good shot here. I mean, at least we have the wind, and we you know what this is a bigger green than usual too. These greens have been tiny, which is uh, another thing about this course so far. I've noticed. Pretty small greens. The wind's really going to carry that. Hopefully that doesn't roll out too much. Yeah, the green just slopes front to back too, so speed that up a little bit. I'm going to have a testy putt for birdie here. Um, back up the hill. Could break a little bit more than that, but you know we're going to put a good hit on it and get up that hill. Get up that hill. Come back down. That was a terrible putt. We're not playing well at all today. A little bit of a double breaker here. I'm gonna dial this in. Just snuck into the edge of the cup for par. We're fighting. We're uh, we're battling right now. Um, amidst this uh, this amazing venue that we're at, we are just completely battling. So. I guess that's part of the charm of this uh, course, but the sun right in our face, that's just insane. Like, really going for it here. Should have enough to carry. A little bit of wind, but we're going to bounce in the fairway and keep going. Rolling out to a casual 322. We'll take that. And this is a par five. Yeah. 553 lots of chopped up fairways different ways you can go about the hole and because of the elevation our driver is going to go just as far as our three wood here so we'll do the three wood i think it's a little bit easier to hit off the deck i'm going to aim for it's really tough right because we're more, most likely going to hit this hill and go into the bunker like this is really masterfully designed for par fives uh, to prevent people from getting there in two. Because we're even par, I'm just going to 
way up. If we start going over par, maybe I'll start going for those, but really just trying to get as close to even par as possible in, in this series and showcase some of the elements of the holes and the courses as a, as a whole. And now we have a much more manageable approach shot. 150 or 144, sorry, into the wind. Should be able to lace a seven iron up there. Might be too much club. Oh, I thought maybe the wind would hit that a little, knock that down a little bit more. Yeah, we should have just went for the eight, but that's okay. Laying up didn't really, didn't really do us any favors there. We made a great swing on the ball though, so. If we could get that to go in, that'd be great, but that's not going to go in. Ooh, nice so another tap and par. Not the worst, Very but I mean, the execution was almost there. We just needed to hit that one shot with a little less club. And we would have been in for birdie probably pretty easily with the, with the line that we were on. So another chopped up fairway, basically enticing you to bend it around this, uh, this cliff, which I'm going to do. I think because, oh, maybe not actually. But it's basically begging you to do it. So we're gonna try it. See if we can get there in one. And you know what, that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be in the bunker, but I will take that or the rough. Yeah, I'll take that. Nice little pitch. That's a really creatively designed hole, actually. I really like that. Pitch out of the rough. That's one of the best pitch shots we've hit all day, and that's going to drop for an eagle. Uh, we, we really needed that. Holy shit. Let's go. What a way to end the front nine. Uh, we got a two under 34 through nine all of a sudden, so we got those two strokes right back just how we lost them all in one hole, so. I mean, this is like Cliff's Edge, holy crap. Even the detail of that bridge underneath, like, just necessary, but I mean, the detail is, like obviously you're gonna need some sort of bridge to get to the green, but just the fact that they put it in even like that is just such a touch that really speaks to the uh, amount of care that was taken when designing this. And like, holy, look at that, like, it's insane. I'm gonna be saying that a lot for this video, guys. Probably this series too, but just some of the views, so nice. The use of rocks, I mean. And we got 13 feet for birdie. Kind of downhill, I think, so. Yeah, a little downhill, we're gonna Try and knock this in. Let's get this putting tightened up a little bit because we've been a little shaky with the putter. And that's the kind of putt we need. Couldn't have hit a much better putt than that. And we're in for birdie. Three under. Let's go. On to the 11th. Another par five. And let's see what we're looking at here. Another disjointed cutoff fairway. So seems to be a theme developing with this course and these disjointed cutoff fairways. I'm gonna rip driver into the wind. I really hope that stays. That looks like it's gonna be fine. That uh, that wind in our face actually really helped that because the three wood uh, wouldn't have gotten to 290 even with the wind unless it was downwind, so. That, uh, that definitely helps. And yet, yet again, I mean, just the way that this is designed, you're not going to be able to get there in two unless you hit a crazy shot. So we're going to try and hit a crazy shot, I think. That's what we're going to try and do here. With the driver off the deck, we're going to try and see if this will stay up. I'm going to aim a little more left because I can see on the back left behind the pin there, the green does filter back. And if we can stay up on that ridge, we have a pretty good look um, at, a, at, a, at an eagle putt, I hope. If we roll all the way down to the back right, I mean, it might be a little bit of a difficult putt, but I think we can still two putt from there, so. And we executed this pretty well. I think this is gonna work out pretty well. Gonna roll back a little bit. Definitely not enough heat on it, I think, for it to go all the way down. 
and that's exactly what I was hoping for, to be honest. So could not have hit that much better. Uh, I mean, look at this putt. I mean, this is the kind of putt that you want for eagle for sure. Gonna have no issue with that. And that's another eagle on the card. So we're heating up five under in the last three holes. Uh, we're we're really heating up now. That's uh, that's pretty pretty awesome, pretty incredible feat. So. Par four, 424 yards, the 12th, and we're gonna have to uh, grip and rip with the driver once again. Rip dog here. Oh, this one's dropping fairway for sure. Little side bounce off the fairway that we didn't really want, but we're not going to be blocked out from the green. Luckily, we didn't go too far to the left. So, And this one, I'm going to take less club and really try and stick this close. That would be nice. Wind's kind of pushing it. Didn't account for that enough, but hopefully that rolls out pretty nicely. And it should roll to the right a little bit more, too. And that's the kind of shot we need. Still can't get over some of these views when you're watching the ball in the air on the on the cam, like the ball cam. Just incredible. Eight feet, little slider for, for birdie here. Might have overread that. I think we did. Yeah, we did. So we got to focus on that. I knew that pretty much as soon as I hit it, that that was overread. But we're in for par. Had a chance to uh, to go six under in four holes, but five under in uh, in three holes is pretty good too. Another par five. Wow, I wonder how many par fives. There's a par 72, so I'd imagine there's a, a typical number of par fives, not an atypical number, but 549, par five, 13th, and a lot of these holes starting to blend together, but not in a bad way. It just, it's very uniform, very uh, consistent, and uh, very uh, on brand for, for this course for what this course seems like it's supposed to be so and personally i love it i mean i think this has a ton of replay value as well judging by uh by just some of the ways you can go about it with playing holes different did on different sides taking different paths laying up not laying up like there's a lot of thought that's put into playing with this course if you want to uh, get a good look at some birdies or pars even like you really got to figure out where you're going to hit it and why and what your plan for the next shot is just as much as your plan is for the shot you're hitting currently so and just like that i mean just as i said we're going to probably go four iron i mean play it safe why not we uh at this point we've made a lot of strokes back by playing it safe relatively the one risky shot that we did hit did get us an eagle but i mean that, that was like one of the few opportunities I've seen to really go for a green and two on these par fives just because of the way that they're set up. So definitely uh, don't want people taking advantage and shooting really, really low scores on this course, which is awesome. I love that kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff that makes me want to play it again too, right? Nobody wants to just go out there and shoot an easy like 12 under or something. Unless you do, but I mean... The way this course plays, that's uh, that's not really going to be possible for us today, at least. The way we're the way we started off. So, for birdie, and these greens look like they're getting a little quicker too, like a little more slope to these as we're get, getting into the last kind of stretch here. So, this one, I think we're going to have to leave that out a little bit, but we didn't even hit that. That was a terrible putt. Sorry about that, guys. We're just going to roll this one in. So. And we're going to miss, actually, so no, not what we're looking for. We're going to bogey. Let's see how this all Tough up. bogey. I mean, lack of concentration really there. Wow, what a hole. Um, par 4, 468. What a hole. This is sweet. Going to just rip it down here kind of mad after that bogey so we're just going to unload on this one and we're probably going to roll out to like 360 yards to be honest off this hill
368, almost touching 370 there. That's uh, probably one of the longest drives I've had on this game. Obviously, the uh, the wind and the slope help that, but that that's always nice when you can get a 350 plus yard drive. That always helps for the second shot, which we don't take advantage of again. Kind of not taking advantage of a couple of these approach shots that we could have uh, could have hit a little better. So this, I'm going to putt this, and we're not going to overhit this. We're going to just try and get it as close as possible. Oh, I mean, that was the weight I was looking for. That was better pace anyways. The line will come, but uh, the pace is really important, as in real golf. Just as important in this game, which is uh, one of the cool things I like about this game, is that if you don't have the right pace on your putt, it will not go in, and I, that's awesome. Doesn't matter how well you read it or whatever, even if you use putt preview and stuff. Like if you don't put the right stroke on it, it's, no, it's still going to have no chance, and the break will take it if it's too uh, too light, or it will go right through the break if it's too heavy on the weight. So that's awesome. Oh yeah, this one's heading for the green. And we are almost holing out there. I can't believe that. All right, nice that was that. pretty insane. I did not try to put any spin on that, as you guys just saw. I haven't really been putting any spin or shaping many shots in this round, and I thought that was going to roll right into the cup, and for some fucking reason it didn't, so that's a little disheartening. Would have been nice to make another eagle. Three eagles on the card would have been pretty insane, considering we're playing from the tips. But this one, par three, 176, uphill, probably playing like 180 at least, maybe 185. I think I'm going to hit my 180 shot. And not enough slope for it to really play that much uphill. Well, that's actually going to carry about a full 180. Oh, you didn't hit this one, but that's okay. Okay, second shot here on the 16th. Nice little chip there. It's the kind of touch we need. Here we go. Drop this and, save. and a little tap in par. And that putt will go. Still at five under. Can't complain. And after that one, you're at Had a 34 on the front. Probably going to end up with right. better than that on the back if we can keep this up. And this is insane. Like, what is this? What even is this? Just a straight dog leg around the around the cliff like that's nuts that's absolutely nutty that's one of the coolest holes I've ever seen in this game I think I've already said that once but on this course but can't be uh, can't be understated enough how crazy some of these holes are all right good luck second shot here on the 17th Gonna not opt for the pitch, I think. I think we're gonna actually, uh, maybe a flop? No, gonna have to hit a pitch. I hate hitting pitch shots, but uh, we hit a decent one before, so. Probably could have tried to do some more with that, but we got this check up pretty good. I think that was probably the slope helping that, but. Got a little left to right slider for for the birdie. Let's try and make this because we've been hit some pretty good putts this uh, round and we've hit some pretty bad ones and we're gonna hit a good one there. That's uh, that's more like it. Bearing down. That's the concentration we need if we're gonna make some birdies. And we're on to 18. I'm kind of wondering like how they can even top any of the holes. And 18 is a pretty wow. I mean, look at the fairway just goes off the side of the cliff. Like, that's insane. Kind of wondering how they were going to top the other holes with 18, and they pretty much really do, nice. although that 17th hole is among the most unique I've ever seen in any golf game that I've played, not even just this one. So, giving ourselves a blind second shot. So, if this was legendary difficulty or legend difficulty, that would be... Uh, that wouldn't have been the ideal play, I don't think, but I'm going to have a 9-iron here with downwind. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this to spin a little bit. Probably won't because of the wind, but we'll give it a try. Hit it high and let it fly here. 
This one might be a little long. Didn't spin back nice. too much, but it spun enough for it to stop up nicely. Gonna have a really testy putt coming down this hill, I think. No, not as bad as I thought. So, these greens rather subdued for the most part, but, I mean, for a medium course, it's about what I would expect. And there we go, we're in for bird. Let's go, 31 on the back. 34, 31, 7 under 65, and what a course. I cannot believe that course, to be honest. That was, I had some expectations going into that, but that pretty much blew all of them out of the water. 65% uh, fairways almost, 61 green and reg. I mean, that's a must play, guys, to be honest. I really don't uh, have anything else much to say other than that. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if there's any courses you think I should do um, in the future. And uh, I will see you all in the next installment of the series. But um, Little Cliff Mountain, man, wow, that was, that was impressive.